Hello, welcome to the start of another vlog. It's a new year, new race season. I say new year, we've already done a little bit of vlogging this year, but first time under race situation, so exercise Suzuki this year. Um, we're on the big girl. Look at that. But, uh, yeah, really excited. If you're new to the channel, then stick around. There should certainly be some interesting stuff going on, especially if you followed my progress on the previous years on the R6. It's not raining yet, however it is forecast to rain like any minute now and then well the surface actually looks dry. Oh yeah, it looks drier than I thought it was. Um, that's a problem because I got wet in the bike. <laughs> uh, Luke is here as well so I'm going to try and like subcontract the filming work to Luke so I get a little bit more from like a third person view I guess like rather than you know just me talking to the camera maybe it's like a little bit of what I get doing that but I don't know anyway stick around should be interesting I'll see you in a bit well a successful first day I say first day like first day of the weekend um, managed to get a slip front tyre in for the last three sessions which was nice the sort of second to last session was a bit of a waste because there was just that much traffic um, but I'm, I managed to get out at the front of the queue for the last session um, and not I'm, I'm not the fastest person here you know that goes without saying but I didn't get overtaken so it just meant that I had some nice clear track and I could concentrate on it um, I managed to do a 1 minute 59.4 or 1 minute 59.3 something like that so my aim was to go sub two minutes um, and uh, that's what me and Luke at Stanley had discussed and so I was glad to get there. Obviously I've still got you know a good margin to find but that's one minute 59 point whatever. It's quite cold, quite windy, you know no one to follow so I feel like we're in a good place. I've also managed to figure out that counterintuitively throttle map A is better because it's aggressive at the start, but then it's more linear towards the end of the throttle, so it's a bit more progressive. And I uh, found as well that um, in the dry, I can run traction mode 5 without it seemingly holding me back too much. That might change when the temperature gets hotter and I'm, um, you know, really getting on the gas hard. But successful first day, so uh, cheers to that. So I forgot to say that I've got a new member to Team 556. <laughs> Well, this should explain how my qualifying session went. Not good. <laughs> Struggled with lots of things, so... Got injured into qualifying in like... 40 minutes or something, 50 minutes, so... Make a few changes and hopefully we can uh, improve. It's very windy today, which is making the job even more difficult than it already is. Uh, with just really struggling with wheelies. Um, but yeah, we'll get better. Oh, I think I qualified 21st. That is pretty pillar. Well, we just had endurance qualifying. Didn't go too badly. Been messing about with the anti wheelie settings and managed to get something which works a little bit better. Um, it's kind of. I didn't go any faster, but I had the used tyres in, so me and Aaron have managed to qualify 7th, I think, um, in the endurance, which, you know, is not too bad. Uh, as I say, it's just a bit of practice for me and it is for Aaron as well, really. Not too bothered about the position, although it would be nice to get results. Um, but I've got my sprint race now in about 10 minutes, so see how it goes. Made some changes to the bike, got the newer tyres back in, so fingers crossed we can, you know, make some progress and reduce these lap times a bit.
hands are definitely painful at this moment, so I've got my little massage gun to try and sort my forearms out because they are really sore. Need to give the bike a clean this morning because it is absolutely minging. And I'm about half past ten. So it's Sunday morning, just give the bike a clean because it was absolutely minging. Um, I ordered this off eBay. It was like 30 quid, includes two batteries. And it's done a great job of cleaning the bike, so... I mean, obviously I've used some water as well. It even comes with a little bucket that folds down. So, yeah, good. Bike's nice and clean now. Need some new brake pads in, because yesterday's endurance took a toll. I mean, there's definitely still meat on there, but... I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> but, yeah, nice and clean now. Rich is just sorting that wheel out. Oh, I'll show you my wet tyre what I finished the race on. Not a lot left of that, is there? Chicken strips though, I'm obviously not leaning over far enough. that I'm struggling in a few areas. It is very windy out there and as you'll probably have seen in the video I'm in a battle most of the time. Um, thankfully my bike is fast on the straights uh, albeit it's only a sign of Suzuki. Uh, so I don't know if I'm running less traction than everyone. Maybe I am because the bike wheelie is like an absolute mother. Um, so something to build on, like I say, I heal 58.6, so hopefully the wind dies down this afternoon, I can go and watch my own boards, figure out what it is I'm doing wrong, and then uh, hopefully do a bit better in the next race, so I'll see you in a bit. Well, we're in the caravan, it's kind of lunch time. It's feeding time for Layla, <laughs> and it's time for me to do a little bit of revision, so as I said, race went okay, I mean, obviously I'm in positions lower than where I would hope to be but there's a lot more kind of wild cards let's call them here this weekend all that said um, my ideal is a 58.6 bear in mind I've done a 57 flat on the R6 so there's definitely a lot more time to come just struggling with feeling from the bike so um, decided to go with a lighter rear spring so put a 10 in I was on a 10 and a half and yeah, people kind of seem to think that'll be the best way and also it should help me with the wheelie because the bike should squat down a little bit more. Um, but now I'm just going to watch a bit of my own boards from that last race and, uh, well, I'll make some notes on the back here. <laughs> and then, yeah, make a few changes to the bike hopefully with what I can see here as well as the spring because I finished 13 in my class so it's only three points which I mean, it's neither here nor there, is it, in terms of a championship, so if I try something and it doesn't work, at least I've tried something, I'm not going to miss three points, I wouldn't imagine, so...
good race, it's got a smile on my face. Um, I think I finished 12th, not too bothered about the position to be honest. I, uh, I managed to get bang in 5.57 second lap time, fast as I've done this weekend so far, I was a 59 flat. My best lap time in that race I did a 57.2. Um, I was really closing in on uh, Julian Trummer and uh, any move would have been a little bit desperate. There was a couple of opportunities but really considering he doesn't matter in terms of the overall championship it wasn't worth risking everything for just one point um so but all in all a good weekend obviously not forgetting the endurance win that we had yesterday bike's still looking absolutely fantastic the sun is shining tent looks resplendent got everyone's names on well all my supporters <laughs> So, yeah, it's been great. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Cheers, bye.